Welcome back to the Morning Blend, everybody. Did you know that greyhounds have a nickname? They are called the 45 mile per hour couch potato. They also have incredible eyesight. They barely shed and they have virtually no doggy odor. Chris Straka and Marnie Hills are here from the Wisconsin chapter of the Greyhound Pets of America. They're going to tell us more about this breed. And Chris, you've got your own Greyhound. Right. And then we have uh, Marnie has one available for adoption. Mm -hmm. Right. Hello, so Ryder. Einstein and Hello. Ryder. Let, let's talk a little bit about their personalities sure. first, because Molly kind of described them well with the 45 mile an hour couch potato. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. One of the biggest uh, questions that we get as pet owners or even with our adoption group is, well, I bet they need a lot of exercise. Right. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, they are sprinters by nature. Yeah. So they conserve their energy. And to do that, they lay on your couch um, <laughs> and they sleep a lot. Uh, they like their, you know, 30 seconds or a minute run around the backyard and then they'd prefer to just go back inside and really? relax with their people, yep. And they, I know they don't have a lot of body fat, so my guess is that you, you don't have a huge cost in feeding them. <laughs> well, they, they eat just about as much as a, a typical dog of their size. Mm -hmm. um, Einstein, you know, a lot of yeah. yeah, I mean this, and, and people will say, well, she's so skinny. She actually is in great shape. She's in beautiful shape. Um, they, they shouldn't have a lot of body fat on them. Okay. Yeah, they seem like kind of like athletes. You know, like an athletic dog. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they are professional athletes when they're racing. Yeah. I mean, they are trained and, and they are professionals. I, I want to know a little bit about the racing, because I wonder sure. as someone who's kind of a novice to dog racing, is it is it uh, a positive thing? Are the dogs treated well? What, what's sort of the industry like? Yeah, so just like any other professional athlete, okay, Michael Phelps doesn't eat horrible things and he doesn't work out and he doesn't exercise. They have to be in, in good shape, they have to be well fed, they have to have good emotional care from their trainer, and they have to have great vet care. So there are a lot of misconceptions about racing, but again, I mean, the, the common sense answer is they need to perform well on the racetrack, and to do that, they have to be well taken care of. With Wisconsin not having a track, why are there so many greyhounds available and needing good homes? Well, they're, they've become very popular, mm -hmm. okay? And the reason they're so popular in Wisconsin is because we had five racetracks at one time. Um, there are still, uh, there is still racing in other states. Um, and so people, we have a waiting list typically for people that want to adopt dogs, wow. adopt greyhounds from us. Um, they're just, they just make such great pets uh, with all the, the reasons that you mentioned before that people fall in love with the breed and once you fall in love with them, the, you're, you're stuck with them. They're actually life. pretty low maintenance yeah. overall, you know, so that's nice for apartment living. You know, if you don't have a yard, that's fine. Huh. So. That's good to know. So mm -hmm. this was the first night that Ryder spent with you. Yeah. How was she? She did really well. Um, usually they are so nervous because they don't know what a mirror is. They don't yeah. know what the TV is. They don't know how to get up on a bed or a couch. And she did quite well overall, just a little whimpering and pretty quiet, but you know. One of the things I read about them, speaking about the fact that they're great pets, is that they're cat friendly. I've heard that they can peacefully coexist with cats. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, we have a cat at our house and, and it's about 50-50. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some some are great. I mean, they're, you know, again, by nature, they're sight hounds, they're hunters. Um, and so, mm -hmm. right. And so depending on their prey drive, um, some look at a cat as a friend and some <laughs> look at it as a little not so much. A chase. Yeah. <laughs> right. For instance, so. Ryder has been tested as cat friendly. So. Oh, so you, oh. oftentimes you know that before we you We test them in the kennel before they're open for adoption. So. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, so you know that. That's great. For what, the most part. <laughs> what is the adoption process like? Because I think a lot of people, maybe they see Ryder and they're like, oh, she's so beautiful. I love her markings, by the way. She's beautiful. Yeah, she she's is She's a fawn brindle. A mixed pudding pop. What's yeah, that? A fawn brindle is her color. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> so what is the adoption process like if someone wants to adopt Ryder? So our process is a little bit different than just going to an animal shelter. Um, the first thing we ask people to do is um, go to one of our meet and greets. Those are listed on our website. We also have our event coming up this Saturday um, and get to know the dogs. Um, and then after that, uh, they would go onto our website at gpawisconsin.org and complete an online application. Um, they'd be scheduled for a home visit where one of our volunteers would come out, uh, meet with the family 
And then uh, once their application's approved, then they would be scheduled for a date at our kennel to come down and meet some of the dogs. Mm -hmm. Is it true you placed 150 greyhounds last year and already so far this year 92? That's correct, yep. That's incredible. Um, the greyhound adoption rate throughout the racing industry, um, once you take out the dogs that are returned to the farm for breeding, the adoption rate is in the high 90% of, of, wow. the dog, of the population. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, um, people, um, this Saturday from 10 until 4 p.m., um, they can go to the Waukesha Expo Center, right? Because you, that's when you're having your event. Right. You that's, can find out more. Yeah, that's our largest event of the year. It's our biggest fundraiser. Um, there's vendors, raffles. Um, there'll costume be, contest. Costume yeah, contest. I love those. <laughs> there'll, be, uh, there'll be hundreds of our adopters, um, volunteers, and dogs there that people can meet. Fantastic. The Greyhound Gala is happening this Saturday, September 28th from 10 until 4 at the Waukesha Expo. Center. If you go to gpawisconsin.org, you can find out more. Great thanks to see you both of you. Thanks for Thank coming. You. Nice. Hope Hope thanks for having us. Home. Thanks for having <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you.